So here's just a temporary update on the uh, cleaning up of the image. And if you're thinking that that looks like some PVC pipe and some masking tape, well, then you'd be right. And here's a little bit of clear PVC piping. That was what we did in the last episode. This moved the acoustic center of this tweeter to here. And then um, there was less interaction with the side glass window. And then I've just done the same here with this uh, two and a half inch dome. I've moved its acoustic center across to get rid of one of the other um, drifts. And it actually drifted this way. If you're panning down this frequency range, it would come out here and you would hear it appear to be sounding from here in this one little frequency and now that I've moved to the acoustic center and retuned it the sweep is consistently down this um, area and then once you get to this frequency it's it's uh, a little bit over this side um, but there's still one top bounce that's based on the super tweeter and it's near, near the 8 to 7k region because there's still a distance between this super tweeter and the glass probably three fingers and somewhere along this path length to the ear it um, cancels a little bit so there's a little pull in this direction um, and all oh, this little hose plastic contraption was just to verify that I could get 75% of the problem solved by uh, channeling the sound and making an exit closer to the, the glass. So I think I'm going to have to do a rebuild where I just move these two tweeters across almost to touch the glass and then I won't have to use these um, redirections. And then uh, to solve this last little uh, center and cancelling for that one, I'm going to uh, try a little thing that's half this size because it's going to end up being over here. Yeah, so that's a quick update on that. But yeah, I'm um, just putting that there. Of course, I got a, uh, a two or three dB drop on that uh, mi middle uh, mid range. But once I retuned it, um, the staging was a nice, even, square stage all the way in front of the A, a pillar there. It was well, well out there. Because, uh, yeah, if you're aiming for a point source and you're aiming for an image, you have to try and uh, sort out all your tiny little kinks. And um, it makes sense to start the point source array as close as you can to the side glass especially on the driver's side and almost to the point where I don't even have to change anything about the left because that's further away from me and uh, that side glass is almost 90 degrees away from me so it's almost out of the picture as far as my listening is concerned and I'm only interested in the, the driver's listening experience of course and uh, as you can see, the acoustic centers are less than one finger knuckle away because it's further away. And uh, on this side, everything is like more like a hand width. The acoustic centers are different. Plus, we've got this side interaction here, which is almost, it's almost going straight from my ear, straight to the speaker. And uh, that's where the issues arise. Anyway, so I hope that's... Um, informative to the 50 or so people who watch some of these videos and uh, we'll catch you in the next one maybe I'll have this whole unit pulled apart and um, try and get closer to the glass <laughs>